Agni versus Uther. I will fight with honor for Cosmodon. Wow, this is a good hand. Do I have a Totem Shaman deck? I haven't played Totem Shaman so long. At least it's been like two or three months. Well met. Oh there. A dark room? I don't I don't think I've ever heard of that game. Kind of an interesting decision here whether to play Acolyte or Frothing. I don't think I'm going to be trading into the mini bot, so a Frothing would be a 2 4, not a 3 4. So many speak to me. It's basically like Kings and True Silver here that allows him to one shot my guy. Uh, this would be the better guy to get Kings or True Silver down because it cycles, but it's also a little bit better to mix in with Despite. But yeah, this is less painful for me than the frothing getting true sword here. Okay, look what I found. Backplant number two. If I can guarantee that this... Hmm... This patron isn't as imp uh, let's see, my deck is less based on patron than the old d decks are. It's kind of risky though, but it could also give me a free win somewhat. I don't know. Let's just play Acolyte. Talon's a class without one damage hero power, so 3-1 here is still better. I think this is better, less weak to consecrate than, say, leaving up my armor smith, curling the blood mage there. I guess the patron, if he got a blood mage, I would have been weak to consecrate. I was thinking as long as I- no, 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 it would have been, been good to play patron, because I could trade for the blood mage, so yeah, it would have been good here, but if you got anything with two or more attack that I can't kill, then he gets a trade for my patron. Okay, so apparently Palin can do one damage. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I will still probably go ahead and play this attack first. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, th I thought this might have been mid-range paladin. It is mid-range paladin, but uh, it's he didn't have quarter master, or he chose not to. Oh, uh, it's a perfect draw. Gonna go ahead and patron up here. Don't think there's a need for a slam. Although, wait, wait, slam is still good. I could. Uh, I'll have four patrons. So there's no way from the clear than equality consecrate. But I can slam and gain and here, and I think that's worth it. With four patrons, there's no way for him to clear anyways, other than an Equality Consecrate. Whereas I could attack that and say slam my patron, I would have had five. Is that worth the ten damage swing? Because I take six, he takes four less. It's basically a ten damage swing for one more patron. But, you know, it's not like an auto win, so maybe I should have. Because say he doesn't Equality Consecrate plays minions, I don't have any more whirlwinds in my hand, things like that to snowball. So he does technically doesn't have to have equality consecrate, maybe. Not sure. Seems like I'd be super far ahead though, so. For duty. Okay. Well that's kind of annoying. Because the one ones contest my guys. He doesn't have consecrate. But it's still a lot of pressure. 
This is 9 damage here. I need to do 10 more damage to win. Uh, this whirlwind's not going to be good here. I don't really need to kill these one ones for Quartermaster because if he's trading the one ones into three three ones, it doesn't matter whether it's three three. Same for this. This guy mostly gets gimmick down. I'm setting him for lethal with Grom, like this as well. So he's not dead here. Grom accruals or Grom Rowan's ten damage, plus uh, assuming not much here. We'll see what happens with the boom bots. Looks like it's not really going to be lethal. I feel like I'm going to go greedy with the Bower Rage and not go for one. Could well very well be lethal here. Grom whirlwind execute attack. Yeah, it's lethal. Oh no, I miscalculated. Okay, it worked out. I miscalculated the uh, the Boombot dying to Whirlwind. If the Boombot didn't die to Whirlwind, they'd be guaranteed lethal. Because I could uh, trade the B Dr. Boom and the Boombot f for the little guy, and then think no matter what, he would have died. Magni versus Uther. I will fight with honor for Cosmodon! A lot of aggro decks could be why this this deck is still really good. I mean, this is not the same deck at all, so it's kind of hard to say anything like that. But it's a completely different deck, anyways. So it'll die anyways. I think I might as well kill this guy over the armor smith since yeah yeah yeah. I don't think I can get punished here. I don't think, yeah, Coghammer is technically a punish, but a, that's a really big technicality because Coghammer is still awful here. Coghammer, trade the other one in, have a 1-1 one, one with taunt left. In fact, Coghammer here is just about as bad as just attacking and making a hero power. So, you get an extra two, you get an extra weapon, but that's about all. Reporting for duty. Okay, definitely gonna play Acolyte and not attack here. If he has Kings, then I can execute after. Okay, not a bad turn for me. Gonna attack until 1 1 in case the Shredder has a taunt coming out of it. Three mana for five four is not even close to bad. It's better than a five four two because it grows. So frothing is with, with this type of deck with a lot of whirlwind effects. Frothing is still quite good as a just a beatdown card. I don't know if it's called beatdown. It's pretty. It has four life for three mana, so it's also kind of like an anti aggro card. It's pretty good all around.
I feel like this is Secret Paladin. Okay, that's a good, that's a good one. I'll, I don't have Grim Patron, huh? Maybe. So I can actually clear the board with Whirlwind and Slam and Armorsmith. Then against Mysterious Challenger, I can just attack, Slam, execute, or I could play Sludge Vulture here. It's a bit weak to Kings. Also, another thing is with Battle Rage, you know, once I, I think this gives me a better chance of getting a good Battle Rage because it's much easier to get a damage minion, you know, when I clear his board for next turn. Armorsmith, I can dictate the combat. If Sludge Belcher, if he does play Challenger, I guess it's fine. I'm not too scared of Challenger since I can just roll in next turn. But this is much better against Kings and it's still fine against Mysterious Challenger. I could just, oh wait, wait I used my slam. That's not right. Oops. That's kind of weird actually against Mysterious Challenger. For some reason, I thought I had a better... I thought I would still have the slam. Mm. If he does play Mr. Challenge Armor, have to play something pretty creative. I probably should have attacked with the... I mean, damaged my own armor smith then. Because I would probably have to battle rage against Mr. Challenger. And I can't really... Actually, I could attack. As good as Battle Rage is, you know, two Battle Rages for four cards, uh, I need the tempo more right now. This lines up pretty well. I mean, I don't anticipate having a hard Battle Rage next turn, so it'll be, it'll be the same thing if I do want to play Battle Rage or Dr. Boom. Let me think. Carry like Mariah, thanks for resubbing. Welcome back to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. Glad I didn't double Battle Rage last turn. That would have been bad. Unfortunately, if I play Boom, he gets to trade Cog Hammer in and kill my arms, act like Armor Smith are free. I guess technically it's not free. Because it still takes one damage on, it's a break point for, for execute. Bell Rage moves are pretty risky. I don't have War Song on my deck, so I can't afford to fold that far behind to draw cards for, for the Grim Patron. I won't be able to War Song Patron and clear everything like that. I have to fight honestly, kind of. I uh, got a throw donation from Fool11. I really enjoy your stream, learned a lot from you, and recently hit rank 2. So thank you. Keep up the good work. Thanks for a donation, fool. Also, I do need some power to fight against Tyrion if it comes out. Although, looking at what he's playing, there's been no secrets, and he's running Lepernome, abusive. So, at this point, I'm 50 50 on whether he's even running secrets. Yeah, I don't think he's running Tyrion or Boom. I think it's a. caps out at 6, if not 4 mana, if he's not running Challenger or secrets. Could just be an aggro paladin. Double cog hammer. That's pretty good. It might have been better to double in a rage on one minion. I'm actually kind of scared of dying here. Because if he's running non secrets, he should be having like Leroy and stuff. It's a little bit weak to consecrate since he can attack this. Whereas if I doubled on one, he just kills it with the recruit. But I have two three threes. Yeah, it's actually much better to. It's, it's not much better, but it should be better to do it on one. Because if I double did it on one, I'd have a seven one, but the two three threes. So the. Cockhammer wouldn't have anything to attack either. Whereas right now, Cockhammer is something to attack. So even against No Consecrate, this is not 
against Consecrate, it's clearly way worse. And against no Consecrate, it's not that much worse. This is still better if he doesn't have Consecrate, but it's not super noticeable, probably. Since this way, he can trade like this, but not with this. I don't expect him to kings that, yeah. That'd be weird. I could just punch it with my Dr. Boom is still getting the 7. Oh, silencing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering if he silenced his own guy or something. Interesting. Okay. So. Okay, let's start by Whirlwinding and Battle Rage. I don't need to play this first. I have so many patrons after. I don't think it's worth it. I need to see what I draw. Nice. This goes into here. That was a mistake. I didn't miss lethal. I wonder. Because I only wasted five da five damage or even three damage. Trading with the, uh, this guy doesn't lose damage, so. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Gonna mulligan Deathbite keeping the Fire War Axe. I don't think you need that many weapons against Druid. And I'd rather have the Axe to deal with the Aspirant. I was almost thinking of keeping the Cruel, but I guess I didn't think about Leper Gnome. I kinda got lucky on the uh, Armor Smith top deck, anyways. This is kind of as good as Cruel, but I, I think this is better than Louis. Against Living Roots. I was thinking against Living Roots, Kroll isn't that good. It's really good against Leper Gnome, though, so. Pay attention, class. I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. Probably save the Acolyte Whirlwind move for next turn together. I can even clear the board with Inner Rage without attacking. Let's see. That's really expensive to use all my Whirlwind effects here, but I think it's worth it. Acolyte Whirlwind, Inner Rage this, attack this, which would clear the board. Let's start by Acolyte Whirlwinding and see what I get. I have a Belcher and then maybe Grim Patient Whirlwind on turn 6. Especially if I keep my Acolyte alive, then I can get an extra card as well from the Whirlwind. I'm gonna start to hit like 200 maybe rank. It's not bad actually, I can mill him out because Patron's really... My mana curve is such that I might be able to mill him out here. Get 
Bring the pain. Maybe I should have. Nah, th that wouldn't have been good. Never mind. Because I could have attacked here, but more whirlwind would have killed my own Belcher. And unless it's a one health minion, I don't get to kill the whole Strider. I'd rather not deal with Death Rattle. Because if, if it's not, then he can use Death Rattle to kill my s s taunt, Another the slime, the and then get through the Fell Reaver. Now he has to have some cards. So he can get through at Fell River. It's gonna be pretty close. I'm gonna yellow for the. Execute. I didn't get to execute. Where shall I strike? Oh, I was off by one. Oh, nice force nature. Okay, so I should be able to clear here. He's out of cards, so hopefully he can't kill me. Hope that's not a swipe. I didn't keep track of what he has. Nice. He's Wait, wait, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. I'll win the race. Actually, yeah, there's no way he wins this. Are you surprised Patreon's still doing this last premiere if I'm definitely surprised? I, I didn't predict that at all. I thought it would be just be gone, but I don't I definitely don't mind this kind of patron anyway, so I don't really know what I'm looking for. I think it's Grim Patron Enraged Death Spite still, just like the old warrior. Also Shredder. So if I had to, I guess, so if I had to say, I'd say I'd mulligan for Grim Patron, Inner Rage, Dustbite, and Shredder, and Acolyte. That's not actually good, because it didn't draw now it's so weak to this. There's two moves here. One is to play Shredder, and one is to play Ghoul, Cruel Taskmaster, my Nat Pagel, and then go and then trade. That way I have a Ghoul against a Shredder. It's pretty close. The big thing is I have Acolyte plus Cruel, it's a nice combo on turn five. The 
I was thinking of the Battle Rage, but I like this better still. Maybe Battle Rage next turn. Strike. You think this is money? I could have also crueled the Worm Rest and Battle Rage. That would have given me a two card Battle Rage and protects my guy a little bit. Probably dead. It's really hard to make a comeback in Patron Mirror. We'll see. I do have Grom for removal on on this guy. Uh oh, rag. Wonder if that's good to have in this deck. It, it probably is. It doesn't. It makes sense for a mid-range deck. Ah, oh, this boom. That's tilting. Boom is so bad here because of the acolyte and the and the slime. So you can just kill my boom bots with the one ones and then yellow the rag hit <clears throat> on my boom. I like Grom more. Just it's not great either. Probably dies anyway. So Grom. Or to rack, but at least I get to stop his card draw on the acolyte. That's not as bad to drop him into here now, because at least it's not it's an armor smith, which is not an acolyte. Boom here, next turn drop all three of these on the left and hope that Rag doesn't kill Patron and also hope that he doesn't have like a slam or something. Come on, kill this. I'm dead. Because yeah, I don't have any more outs now, I think. Happens here. If I play frothing, I think I just lose 100% of the time. I need to have mana left over after the battle rage. Maybe. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on anymore. What's going on? Oh my god, it's bugged out of the game. Oh, 
Well, I can't handle all the patrons. 